Hello, I am Professor N. B. Hulle from G. H. Rai Suni Institute of Engineering and Technology and in this video we will try to understand the two concept constant current source and constant voltage source. To begin with we will start the definition of constant voltage source. Here as per the definition I have mentioned in this particular uh, video that is constant voltage source is a source which delivers constant voltage independent of the load connected to it. This is one definition or we can use the definition something like this or it is a voltage source which has zero internal resistance. Now here uh, I will take the two cases and we will try to understand which source is the constant source and uh, delivers the constant voltage. Now here I will for explanation of this particular example I will consider the two cases. In one case I will consider the load resistance as uh, 1 ohm and in other case I will consider the load resistance as 1 kilo ohm that is 1 into 10 to the power of 3 ohm that is nothing but uh, the 1000 ohm. Now here I will differentiate clearly the two cases. In the first case we will consider the source with zero internal resistance that is uh, we will consider its voltage of this source as 10 volt and in the second case also we will consider the same thing. In the second case also we will consider the same thing that is voltage source of 10 volt but here we will consider its small internal resistance small internal resistance which is of the 1 ohm in this particular case. Now here we will test this circuit for first load which is of the 1 ohm here in this particular case also it is of the 1 ohm here is the terminal A and this is the terminal B similarly for other case this is 1 ohm and we will find out its terminal voltage we will find out its terminal voltage to calculate the potential a b we should know the current in that load resistance now i will calculate the current here i i is equal to v divided by r total voltage divided by total resistance total voltage is 10 here for this mesh probably or you can use the mesh analysis or you can use a kvl simply to calculate uh, its current or you can use a simple way that is 10 divided by 1 which is equal to 10 amperes current is the 10 amperes now how much is the vab that is a uh, uh, output voltage or uh, terminal voltage now here vab is equal to i into r that is the current flowing through the ab terminal or uh, in the load resistance and into its load resistance which is equal to that is uh, i is 10 ampere into its load resistance is 1 that is why its voltage is coming to be 10 volt no issues. Similarly in the second case we will calculate its current i which is equal to its voltage divided by its resistance total voltage divided by total resistance total resistance here total voltage in this particular case is 10 volt again divided by total resistance here it is 1 plus 1 that is 2 here its current is coming to be 10 divided by 2 that is 5 amperes. If we know its value of the current, if uh, again I will use the basic rule I is equal to total voltage divided by total resistance which is 5 amperes. Now, here we will find out its terminal voltage which is VAB. In this particular case which is equal to again I into R. I into its load resistance R which is I is a 5 amperes and load resistance is a 1 ohm that is why it is a uh, VAB or terminal voltage is found to be 5 volt. Now here I will go through the second case. The same example with the second load that is load resistance as a 1K. Now here if we are connecting the load resistance of 1K in the first case the voltage is 10 volt again. Here the load resistance of the 1K that is 1 into 10 to the power of 3 and the remaining circuit is the same. Now what we are planning here? 
it delivers the constant current independent of the load connected to it here in first case we have taken the load as a one now we will take as a load as a 1k and we will check its terminal voltage that is voltage between the terminal that is a and b now here if we are calculating its current i which is equal to v divided by r total voltage divided by total resistance total voltage is 10 and total resistance is 1k that is 1 into 10 raised power of 3 now here in this case if we are finding its value it is coming to be 10 into 10 raised power of minus 3 amperes that is 10 milliamperes is the current now here if we are finding its terminal voltage for this particular case which is vab now vab terminal voltage which is equal to uh, i into r here this is current i in this case this is current i in this case this is the current i now here i into rl i is current which is 10 into 10 this power of minus 3 into rl is 1 into 10 this power of plus 3 if we are doing this calculation its value of the terminal voltage is found to be 10 volt now here in this case terminal voltage remains the same if we are changing the load resistance thousand times 1 ohm 1000 ohm now we will check it about the second case with the internal resistance now here in this case if we are considering this again this is the 10 volt with 1 ohm internal resistance now we are changing its load resistance to the other value which is 1000 that is 1 into 10 is power of 3 ohm here is 1 ohm this is 10 volt now if we are calculating its current in this case if we are calculating its current that is i i is again formula is the same here in this case also i is equal to total voltage divided by total resistance this is current i now here in this case this is again i now here in this case this is equal to total voltage is 10 divided by total resistance is 1 plus 1 into 10 is power of 3 that is 1000 1001 if we are doing this calculation its current is found to be 9.99 into 10 raised power of minus 3 that is 9.99 milliamperes now here if we know its current we can find out its terminal voltage which is vab if we are finding its terminal voltage which is vab for this particular case this is a and this is b which is i into r or rl here i is 9.99 into 10 raised power of minus 3 into its load resistance is 1 into 10 is power of it is plus 3 now here in this case if you are working this value then it is found to be 9.99 volt is the value of the terminal voltage vab now if we are doing the comparison properly here if we are doing the comparison properly here this is the terminal voltage vab this is the terminal voltage vab i will conclude the first case if we are looking at the first case here, VAB is 10 volt and in this case also VAB is 10 volt even though we are changing the load resistance 1000 times. If we are changing the load resistance 1000 times. In the second case, here it's VAB, in this case it's VAB is 5 volt and in other case VAB is 9.9 volt. Means here in this case the terminal voltage does not remain constant. Means here this case this source or source which has some internal resistance is not a constant source or constant voltage source this here as per the definition here look at the second definition it is a voltage source which has zero internal resistance means if the source has a zero internal resistance in that particular case the source is going to deliver the constant current which is independent of the load connected to it this is the concept of the that is constant voltage source now i will come to the second part of the uh, source which is current source now here its definition itself indicates the constant current source is a source which delivers the constant current independent of the load connected to it or it has second definition it is a voltage source here may be the confusion to you current source is nothing but voltage source itself but which has very high internal resistance theoretically infinite
Now again, I will consider the two cases to understand this particular concept. Now here, one case, in one case, I will take the internal resistance in the source is very high, very high, which is 1 into 10 raised to the power of 6, that is 1 mega ohm, and its voltage is same again. And in other case, I will consider the source with zero resistance, extreme cases I will take. In first case, I will take the load as a 1, as I discussed previously, 1 ohm, and here again 1 ohm. Voltage is the 10 volt. In second case, I will consider electron. Now here, if we are interested in this current, we are interested in this current. We are interested in this current, terminal AB, this current, AB. Now here, in this case, if we are calculating its current I, which is equal to total voltage divided by total resistance, that is 10 divided by, it is 1 plus 1 into 10 raised to the power of 6, which is equal to 9.99. Microamperes. That is 10 is power of minus 6. And in other case, if we are doing the same calculation, this is AB again. Okay. Its current I. Total voltage divided by total resistance. 10 divided by 1, which is equal to 10 amperes. Now here, if we are changing the load resistance for both, if we are changing the load resistance for both, in first case, The same thing, I will change the load resistance to 1000, that is 1 into 10 is power of 3 ohm. This is again same internal resistance, theoretically infinite, but I am taking its large value, that is 1 mega ohm, this is 10 volt again. Here is the same case, but here, now the load resistance will be 1k, that is 1 into 10 is power of 3 ohms. This is terminal A, B. Here is again terminal A. This is B. Here its voltage is 10 volt. If we are calculating current in this case I, if we are calculating the current in this case I, this I is equal to or terminal current I A B to be exact. This is I A B again. This is I A B or we can call it as I because it has a single uh, circuit and single current or uh, simply it is one mesh. <coughs> IAB is equal to total voltage 10 divided by total resistance that is 1 into 10 is power of 6 plus it is 1 into 10 is power of 3. If we are doing this calculation, its value is coming to be that is 9.99 microamperes. In other case, in other case, here the current IAB which is coming as total voltage divided by total resistance which is 1 into 10 is power of 3 which is equal to 10 into 10 is power of minus 3 amperes which is 10 milliamperes. Now here if we are comparing these two, now look at here, I am comparing the final currents. This is 1, this is second. When we have high internal resistance and look at this current and look at this current when we have zero internal resistance. Now here we have the chance of the conclusion or I will conclude here itself. Whenever voltage source has very high internal resistance, its current is going to be constant independent of the load connected to it. Now look at here, I am changing the load thousand times, then also its current is constant. But the source having low internal resistance or zero is not going to deliver the constant current. Miss, what is the definition of the constant current source? It is also voltage source which has very high internal resistance, theoretically infinite. The source having very high internal resistance is going to deliver the constant current and source having very low internal resistance which is zero is going to deliver the constant 
voltage that's why it is constant voltage source that's all for this particular video thank you